I'm Britt with Garmin's product support team. I want to tell you about some exciting changes available with the latest software update for your Instinct 2 Series Adventure Watch. You will automatically receive this update over the next few days if your watch is paired to the Garmin Connect app or if you've enabled Wi-Fi Sync. Now let's dive into what's new. First, we're covering the new training and health additions that are now available, starting with HRV status. Your watch will gather your overnight HRV, also known as heart rate variability, providing your trends over time. You will need to wear your watch while sleeping for about three weeks to reveal insights on your HRV status. HRV plays a big part in understanding how your body is responding to stress, strain, or illness. Monitoring it over time will be able to provide you with a more accurate status to suit your lifestyle. HRV status can be added either as a widget glance or it can be viewed in the Garmin Connect app. For help adding the widget glance, see our link in the description. Next, let's discuss Training Status 2.0. Your training status will now include your HRV status, activity history, and VO2 max. This will let you know if you're keeping productive, peaking, or strained. In other words, if you miss a scheduled workout but are still active, your watch will account for this into your training status. You can learn more about Training Status 2.0 by visiting the link in the description. The last Training and Health edition is HRM Confidence and Training Metrics. In the unforeseen event you lose heart rate during your activity, you could receive inaccurate measurements for your activity. For example, if your heart rate strap was not ready to transmit data, or if the battery is dying. HRM Confidence will detect that there is an inaccuracy in the activity and it accounts for this as part of your training metrics when using an HRM Pro or HRM Pro Plus strap. The next section we'll cover is the new activity feature support additions. The first topic is running power. Using an HRM Pro series strap, you can now view running power for your run activity. Running power is a way to measure your exercise load and is based on various components including kinetic power, potential power, vertical oscillation, and more. To learn more about Garmin's running power, see the link in the description. Up next, we'll talk about the enhanced strength activity. The strength activity has been updated with a new user interface. It now shows the active time, heart rate, and current time right on the default screen. The post-workout screen has been updated to include your training effect and training status. The last activity support addition is Reference Point. This new app provides a line of sight and bearing back to location. The location can be set as a current location, a set compass bearing, or from one of your previously saved locations. In this last section, we'll cover some additions available to you in the Garmin Connect app. The first feature we'll jump into is advanced multi-sport editing. After completing a triathlon or other multi-sport activity, you can open the activity in the Garmin Connect app and you'll have the option to trim the start or stop time of each sport. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the new features on the latest software for your Garmin smartwatch. To learn more about your product, check out our other videos, or please visit support.garmin.com.